Hello, I'm Allie and I'm back today to do a book review. It's something different for me. I've never done this before, but I'm going to try it. I considered um, looking up other people's book reviews to see how people did it and then I just thought like that's kind of stupid. It's something I should just kind of do how I want to do it and we'll see. I do read quite a bit. I um, currently my goal is to read 52 books this year, one for every week. That's not crazy for me. I typically read around that much in a year. I think I'm at I think today's book was book 43 that I completed. I do read multiple books and I um, keep track of them on goodreads.com. I will leave a link to my Goodreads account down below and hopefully some people will join me over there. I love seeing what people are reading and I like to see what people are loving reading. So yeah, so today I'm going to try to keep it short just so that it's not, um, you know, so it doesn't drag on. But today I finished Holding Up the Universe. It's shiny because I typically get my books from the library just so that I don't end up having so many books. But, um, but by Jennifer Niven, she was also the author of All the Bright Places, I believe is what it was called. And... I read that one last year around this time I think it was in November and I found that book so um, so absorbing it dealt with two characters in it that dealt with mental health and depression and they talked about suicide and they talked about all different things and so that book was very compelling it's very popular um, so yeah so I picked this one up this one is newer it's labeled as new in my library but I'm not sure when it came out but recently I believe that Zoella actually mentioned it at one point, so I feel like this book is going to be popular just for that. So, to get down to it, the two main characters in the book are Jack and Libby. I love that it's told from two separate perspectives. So you have chapters that are Libby and chapters that are Jack. The way they're broken up are pretty short, which I think makes the book move very quickly. Now, I think that... I feel like this is a great book, but it had a lot of negative feedback on Goodreads. Goodreads, Goodreads is a really weird place where it's, it's social media, I guess, but it doesn't really feel like a place like Instagram or YouTube where people are putting all of the, you know, negativity into it, but it really does. There was something about this description when it first came out that people really hated, and it has all these, like, negative comments from people who posted before the book even came out, which I found so odd, but I guess that's just our culture right now. Our culture is very, like, hateful, and especially on social media. Um, so, basically, the two, the two characters, Libby is labeled the America's Fattest Teen. She had an event where she ended up in the regular media and was called America's Fattest Teen, and Zach has not Zach, Jack has what is known as prosognasia, I think is how you say it, and that means that he is face blind. So both of them have these things that kind of make them outcasts, mentally outcasts at school. Jack is a popular kid but has to really compensate for that, and I know that that happens all the time. I think these two characters are so relatable for high school kids, and um, even if you don't deal with being you know, morbidly obese or deal with face blindness. I think that almost everybody can relate to feeling like a weirdo at school and trying to compensate for that. And I think it has a lot of really good themes. I wrote some notes just so I would remember. Um, I, I do think that some of the book feels very young adult. It feels kind of oversimplified sometimes and it's like things kind of, you know, um, work themselves out in, in a simpler way than maybe it would in real life, but I, I feel like that is good. I feel like in this novel it will be really good for a younger reader as well because of that. Um, it deals with things like trauma, loss, realistic things, divorce, body image, all of those things that we deal with as teenagers, and I just feel like people don't talk about enough. I feel like sometimes 
you know, we mention these things in, in the media that teenagers are going through, but it's not really talked about as if it's normal. And I think that we should be talking more about that. And so I think that that's what this book does. I think that a lot of people will really like this. I am going to recommend it to younger people in my life, and I really hope that they like it. Um, one thing that I read at the very end was they were talking about coming out because one of the really really small characters in it talked about coming out and that I think that this book could be a coming out but not in coming out and saying that you're homosexual but coming out as as yourself and embracing that and I kind of liked that idea and I think that that should be something that more of us could do when we're in high school but high school is so challenging that, I don't know, I hope that this encourages people and makes them feel like less of a loner. And um, one thing I want to do when I, I like to, like I mentioned in my favorites video, I dog ear pages, <laughs> and I know people get so annoyed by that, but I read this quote today, and she said, the loss was already so big, it felt like I was carrying around the world, so carrying around the weight wasn't any heavier. I was trying to carry around both that got to be too much, which is why sometimes we have to set some of it down. You can't carry it all of it forever. And I just think stuff like that is so good for people to hear. And I just, I loved this book and I hope other people read it. Um, so yeah, I also started a new book and I think actually Zoella has this in her new book club. It's going to be all about Zoella today. Um, I started reading If I Was Your Girl. Can you see that without the reflection? Um, just barely started it, but I'm really looking forward to reading it. It's about a transgender teen um, and, and being in high school, so I guess this is like my theme currently, but I hope this book review was okay. I feel like I was a little bit scattery, but whatever. I think um, people will hopefully understand, and I really hope people like this book. All right, I will see you again later, probably maybe for a book review of if I was your girl. So yeah, I hope you have a happy day. I hope the lighting is okay. It's rainy today. So yeah. All right. <laughs> See you later. Bye.